Alrighty, y'all. We got the Azalea City Classic coming up. I did a walkthrough for you. Mark a drive-by of the Azalea City Classic layout. We're just going to do a quick little walkthrough. We're going to show you what it's about. Don't forget to pre-register one week out. Can't wait to see everybody then. All right, for now, hole one. 531 feet. You got Mando left. OB to the right. OB to the left. This whole tree line is going to be out of bounds. <clears throat> if for some reason you make it to the right side, there will be OB far to the right. You're going to make a nice placement shot around this area. Then approach the green. Hopefully collecting your birdie. All right, hole two. This is gonna be part three, 267 feet. You can either take it straight up the left side or you can uh, bring it out to the right here for a nice little soft, either righty hyzer or lefty forehand hyzer. Probably with something like a mid range, possibly a putter. The left side of that fairway is out of bounds along with the right. Hole three, same situation, OB left, OB right. You have two choices. You can either go up the middle here, or you can bring it around the outside. Righties are going to take a forehand flex. Lefties are going to take a backhand turnover flex. Or the best shot is going to be straight up the middle, probably a mid-range to a fairway driver, landing it right here by the cart. <clears> Hole <throat> four. It's a par four. Left side of the fairway is out of bounds, or left side of the tree line is out of bounds. You're gonna to take a nice little soft approach shot here to the right for an easy placement, or you can try to take a big roller and try to get closer. This will be the ideal landing zone. OB is here to the right, OB to the left there along the tree line. And then you'll approach the cart here. The cart is where the basket will be. Like I said, there's a lower roller line, so you can try it. It might get successful, but we'll see. Hole five, 235. Right side is out of bounds. You'll, there'll be a line into the ropes there. The left side of the fairway is out of bounds as well. You wanna take a slow putter shot and try to keep it right here in the middle. OB will be tight on this hole. It's short, but it's technical. Hole six, I don't have it in the video here, but on the right side, there is a low, tight, overstable skip hyzer shot. But the left side is gonna be more friendly to the, friendly for you to either forehand or a backhand hyzer. Where the flag is now, it's gonna be a little closer right about there. <coughs> Hole seven, this one's gonna be a fun little tunnel shot, most likely a putter. There is OB to the left over the fence, and there is OB to the right on the cart path. So you want to keep this low, keep it tight, and don't go out of bounds. <coughs> All right, OB is here to the right. There is OB to the left. Um, you're not going to want to go out to the road. That won't be very fun. There will be an OB line, though, probably 20 feet from the road, preventing you from going anywhere near it. And you got the basket here next to the fence. Hole nine, long par four, big turnover shot. There will be OB that goes to the left here and then comes up this tree line, preventing you from going into the next hole's fairway. To the right side, there's OB as well, but that will be a little harder to reach. You're gonna wanna land about a 50 feet behind there and take a nice little approach shot, low skipper, most likely with the mid range, or if you throw a forehand with a overstable fairway driver. Okay. Now looking back at it, that's a good hole. All right, hole 10, par three, 314, right side tree line is OB. Like I said, the other fairway is blocked, so that left side tree line is gonna be out of bounds, and then the fairway will open up and circle to the left there, and you'll continue around. The basket will be right here in the middle, where that flag is. 
should be a fairly routine shot for you. Alright, so hole 11. This one's going to have two different routes. You can either take it out to the fairway, or to the golf course fairway, or you can take up the middle shot. The middle shot is going to set you up for a birdie. Most likely take it on the outside will allow you to only get a par. To the left there is a gap over the trees, which you'll see when we come back. To the right there, it will be the golf course fairway, which will be out of bounds. We're on the golf course rough now, which is be safe. If you're going for par, this will be the way you come in and you'll approach to where the cart is now. And up here, like I said, this will be your gap for birdie. So you land on that hill, throw your shot in for birdie. Hole 12, another short little turnover shot. The only out of bounds in this hole is to the left. There's a cart path over there. If you reach that cart path, you're going in the wrong direction. All right. So this is where the basket will be placed right here. There's no flag, it's missing. Hole 13, wide open, 365 foot righty hyzer, lefty forehand hyzer, lefty backhand roller. Cart pass to the right is out of bounds. I would say the left side is gonna be like a natural out of bounds. If you go in there, it's gonna be really tough. Okay, basket's where the flag is. Okay, the next hole you're gonna walk to the left and go over that fence and walk out to the field. This is a 615 foot par four. As you can see to the left side, there is a sidewalk. The sidewalk is out of bounds. To the right side as well, there's a fence up there. The fence is out of bounds. You're gonna to wanna to take for a lefty, a nice long hyzer and try to lay up here in the middle, probably somewhere around 340 to 350 feet. And then take the equivalent shot to the basket. Righties, you're gonna to wanna, to, if you wanna to try to buy off a lot of distance, you're gonna to wanna to throw a roller or a big flex turnover shot to get it up that hill and have a slow ride down. All right, once you approach the basket, you're gonna turn to the right, and there will be a gap in the fence for you to go back over, or to walk through, and then you'll go across the fairway, or you'll walk up the, um, the tree line to the left there. The right side there, there will be a mando tree on that first tree. You'll be out of bounds, or you have to make the mando. To the right, you'll be out of bounds on the golf course fairway. To the left side, there's a fence. The fence is out of bounds as well. This hole is gonna play pretty tough. I see this hole being a score separator. Hole 16, we've come off some tough holes, so now we're gonna step into a short little 234. There's a left side there, tree line is out of bounds. Right side, tree line is out of bounds. You're gonna wanna take something slow, something without a lot of movement, and place it straight. This should be an easy birdie. Hole 17, 221 feet. You'll look at it, you'll see 221 feet, thinking it's gonna be easy. But as you step up, you'll see this is a very tough shot. You're gonna to wanna keep it low, keep something over stable, and skip to the pin. Hopefully you'll get the birdie. All right, and the final hole coming up, hole 18. It's the par five, 760 feet. There's multiple gaps on this hole. You can take it straight up the middle, which is gonna buy up the, the most distance, or you can take it to the right here. The right side gap will give you the best chance for succeeding for a birdie, okay? Right about here will be an ideal landing zone if you're going for a birdie. If you're trying to bite off a lot of steam and try to get the eagle, you're gonna wanna put it somewhere around this area right here. So they have you wide open gap there to the right, throwing over the golf course putting green. But if you're going for a birdie, you want to keep it to the left here because this tree line to the right is out of bounds. And it will circle up here to the right and then stay on the back side of the golf course putting green and come back around to the parking lot. And the basket will be placed on top of this hill. And as you can see, the long fairway bringing you back to the final hole. And that is actually the ninth putting green of the golf course. Thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you all out there.